So, are you ready to have your mind blown? Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. Meet Elon Musk 2.0. I came across this very fascinating, super short article slash poll result regarding sentiment about Elon Musk from Democrats and Republicans in the United States, and you will be stunned, unless, of course, you happen to not live in a bubble. Quick bit of background. We are on the EV Politics Project. Yes, this is actually a thing. Their mission, the EV Politics Project, is a bipartisan effort to better understand the growing divide between Republicans and Democrats and independents over electric vehicle adoption. For several years, industry research has shown that price and range slash charging anxiety have been the two biggest obstacles to consumer acceptance of electric vehicles on a mass basis in the United States. But a powerful new barrier is quickly rising. A growing political and cultural rift over how EVs are seen by consumers based on their political identities. By the way, if you happen to have a political identity as in I'm a Democrat, I'm a Republican, you're probably a dumbass. You know what's even better than having a political identity? Using your fucking brain to think about issues policy and candidates individually and assess them on their own merits as opposed to oh what do we think about this topic and that topic and how do i what do i what do we say because i'm one of them don't be a fucking moron and that's not to say that you may not vote for a candidate of one party or another quite consistently over time but if you go oh i'm a republican therefore what do we think about this issue and that issue i better vote for a republican or vice versa i'm a democrat what do we think about this issue and that okay that's what i think as well you're an idiot and speaking of Political ideologies and idiots over on X, this great post from Hallmark's catalog. Believe me, it's a lot more relevant than you might think. He posts, last month, one of my Elon blaming followers bought $15,660 of Rivian shares because they knew, quote, the Rivian CEO isn't going to tweet anything that will negatively affect his shareholders. Well, RJ, Rivian's CEO, didn't tweet anything or post anything on X, but he still lost $4,200. Play stupid games win stupid prizes. So, in case you guys are unaware, Rivian stock down today 25.6%. And no, that's not a typo. I haven't been in there editing the source code. That's actually a real number. And no, RJ didn't come out of the closet as an actual pick your bigoted, racist, anti this, anti that horrendous comment. No, he didn't wade into the discussion around the woke mind virus, call out woke organizations, corruption, Racist activist groups, forms of discrimination. He didn't denounce the sterilization and mutilation of children. No. Rivian just had a really bad fucking earnings. But check this post out. It's hilarious. Just hilarious. So this was the post, 18th of January, 2024. Decided to catch Rivian stock at 1566, currently 11.45. Since I know Rivian CEO isn't going to tweet anything that will negatively affect his shareholders with Elon Musk. The risk is that he will tweet something that will push Tesla down further. Can't trust his loose mouth anymore. Anyone want to take a wild guess? If this particular user happens to identify as either a Democrat or a Republican, which that might be, I definitely don't know the answer. That's why I'm asking you guys. I thought it was worth emphasizing on this slight detour how extremely politicized not just electric vehicles, but Elon Musk himself has become. Unfortunately for EV supporters of all political ideologies, a red state curtain is being drawn across the US auto market. We've been investigating this campaign style polling research. Note this telling data from our November 2023 survey of US voters and consumers. What is your opinion of electric car brands like Tesla, Polestar, Lucid and Rivian? This is quite telling. People who identified as Democrats, their opinion mostly favorable was 36%, just over a third. Mixed 43%, mostly unfavorable 21%. Independence 29% mostly favorable. Quite a drop from Democrats. Mixed, roughly the same as Democrats at 46%, mostly unfavorable, a little bit more than Democrats, 25%. However, check this, Republicans, mostly favorable, 9%. Mixed, almost identical to everyone else, 42%, but mostly unfavorable, a whopping 49%. Now, why would that be? Well, spoiler alert, this really has become a partisan issue and understandably so, in many regions, I typically have a majority of Republican voters. Some of the larger employers just so happen to be in the fossil fuel industry. Skipping ahead just a little bit, and we'll get to the Elon 2.0 in a minute, but this is super relevant context. We believe this growing partisan divide is a critical problem that both foreign and American EV makers must move quickly to address. So a couple of quick thoughts here. If the EV politics project folks are correct, this is a major issue for electric vehicle manufacturers, because on average, 
Only 9% of Republicans have a favourable view of these companies. 49% unfavourable. The number with a mixed opinion, roughly equivalent through Democrats, Independents and Republicans. But roughly twice as many Republicans have an unfavourable or mostly unfavourable opinion of these electric vehicle companies than do Democrats or Independents. In other words, if these companies really want to scale their volume up, they really, really, really want to focus on shifting the perceptions of Republican voters. And that brings us to Elon 2.0. Our polling shows a fascinating polarization surrounding Elon Musk. Put simply, Democrats and people who say climate change is a serious problem that must be addressed (laughs) do not like Elon Musk. (laughs) Uh, Consider that for a moment. And we'll talk more about why this may be. But just consider this for a moment. Based on their polling, Democrats and People who say climate change is a serious problem that must be addressed, on average, do not like (laughs) the man who has done more for addressing climate change than literally any other human on Earth. Why? Because Elon bad. You got the memo, right? That's quite a change from where Elon started as the visionary who put modern mass adoption of EVs into motion. Conversely, highly EV sceptical Republicans quite like Elon. This is true. Of course, don't tell that to anybody living in an extremely left-leaning bubble. You think that the entire world thinks like they do and therefore Elon having opinions. Elon bad. Shut up, Elon. Stop talking about things. Just fucking pump Tesla stock, Elon. As the mercurial tycoon has evolved rightward on many issues, Elon 2.0 has found a new audience of admirers and fans. Facts, facts, and more. Facts. People who, for example, value freedom, oppose censorship, would prefer not to be part of wide-scale medical trials without their consent what what? oh shit i'm not gonna get banned from youtube for saying that hey youtube go fuck yourselves people who previously until elon bad purchased twitter and rebranded to x coincidentally of course were almost the only people whose accounts were being shadow banned suppressed de-amplified and having other strange goings on and remember ladies and gentlemen just in case you're unaware especially in the united states the vast 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 majority of mainstream media Academia, Hollywood, entertainment, athletics all lean heavily left. Yet the actual public in the United States is a much more even split. Try this one on for size. Trump supporters like Elon quite a bit, while Biden supporters, well, pretty much despise him. Quote, but wait a minute, Biden likes EVs and Elon is Mr. EV, so shouldn't... Uh, uh, mm. Don't even try to figure it out. In our tribal politics, the enemy of my enemy is naturally... My friend, by the way, on screen now, this picture looks photoshopped. However, (laughs) I did actually see a real photo recently. Some pathetic wanker had a bumper sticker on their Tesla that read something along the lines of, I bought this before Elon went crazy. What an absolute fucking loser. Imagine caring so much about what other people think about you. They go and have a custom bumper sticker made. Just so you can show people, hey, oh, oh, Elon bad, okay? Don't just, uh, I, Elon bad, please approve of me. Uh, uh, I agree, Elon bad. Uh, d- don't, don't hate me. I, I bought this before Elon became Elon bad. Okay. What a fucking pathetic loser. Metaphysics aside, this funhouse mirror situation has very high stakes out in the real world of moving the US toward EV adoption. As our research has shown, political ideology has deeply tangled up the EV marketplace in the US. Many consumers, especially on the right, see EVs far more as political statements than as vehicles. So it is no surprise that the data we found regarding opinions surrounding Elon Musk reflects that. Check out the data slides below. You can see the deep partisan split over whether or not people on each political team see Elon Musk as a good ambassador for EVs. Now, are you ready to be stunned? Agree or disagree? Elon Musk is a good ambassador for electric vehicles. People who identified as Democrats overwhelmingly disagree that Elon Musk is a good ambassador for electric vehicles. 66% disagree. Only 34%, a third, agree that Musk is a good ambassador for electric vehicles. Whereas 61% of Republicans agree, just 39% disagree. Almost the complete inverse. Now, again, it's important to understand because this is a highly partisan issue. You'll see Trump right now running around, pandering to his audience of Republican voters Joking around that EVs will last two miles before you need to recharge them, which takes 12 hours. Now, he knows this isn't true, okay? The guy is using this as a talking point to really connect with his audience. Yet, despite that, despite 
the anti-EV bias among many Republicans. 61% still agree that Elon Musk is a good ambassador for electric vehicles. If this doesn't shock you, you're probably not listening. Roughly the same number in terms of percent of Republicans agree that Musk is a good ambassador as do Democrats who disagree. Isn't this a wonderful example of people not thinking for themselves? You may have seen a few people who happen to live in a Democrat bubble recently, raging at Elon Musk. You might have even heard some extremely embarrassing comments, people calling him a <laughs> white supremacist. <laughs> These are NPCs who don't think for themselves. They've got the message that Elon bad. They've deep-throated the entire thing and swallowed as well. Stunning. But wait, there's more. Here is the same ambassador for EVs question, but now broken out by what respondents said about climate change, as opposed to political party. We asked respondents which statement they agreed with. Climate change is a serious problem that must be addressed now, or climate change is overhyped and not that serious of a problem. Again, opinion about Elon as a good ambassador for EV splits. Check it out. Agree or disagree? Elon Musk is a good ambassador for electric vehicles. People who say that climate change is a serious problem, 58% disagree that Elon Musk is a good ambassador for electric vehicles. The guy who we can reasonably credit with having done more for addressing climate change, whether or not you believe it's a serious issue, but especially if you believe it's a serious issue than any other human on the planet, 58% disagree, 42% agree. So on a scale of 1 to 10, the brain damage over here seems to be about a 100 out of 10. Now personally, I think a lot of the hoo-ha around climate change is somewhat overhyped. The reason I say this, it's probable that humans are having an impact on Earth's climate, but it's also a fact of history that Earth's climate varies dramatically over a long enough time scale. And in addition, the most important piece of the puzzle, the global economy will transition to fully sustainable energy generation, storage and supply. And we'll have enough resources in the future to capture carbon and reverse any potential impact we've had as a species on the climate if necessary. In other words, calm the fuck down, everything's going to be fine. That's not to say that we don't need to transition to sustainable energy and wean ourselves off unsustainable fuels, fossil fuels, I mean, by the very nature they'll run out, it's not sustainable. It's just to say that the climate alarmists, the fucking morons who are telling you stop having children, climate's the end of the world, I don't want to have children, bring them into this, oh, idiots. Yet among these people, <laughs> if they truly believe that climate change is a serious problem, the one true narrative that Elon bad is trumping their belief that climate change is a serious problem, in my opinion. However, of those who say climate change is overhyped, 67% agree that Musk is a good ambassador for electric vehicles. This is once again clearly demonstrating that the Elon bad message has really sunk into the brains or the area where a brain's meant to go of many NPCs. Here is a table with additional crosstabs. This time, the core question is a favorability test on Elon. Note the big difference in views about Elon 2.0 held by Trump versus Biden fans and how that mirrors the split between the two sides on the seriousness of climate change. Elon Musk's brand, it's complicated. So to orient you guys and girls here, in blue, we're hearing from people who have a mostly favorable view of Elon Musk and in red, mostly unfavorable. And along the bottom, their thoughts, views, support. For example, those who prefer Trump, overwhelmingly, 44% have a favorable view of Musk, 10% unfavorable. So it's like a 4.4 to one ratio. Yet check this out. Those who prefer Biden, just 6% have a mostly favorable view of Elon Musk, 56% unfavorable. Those whose friends say buying an electric vehicle is smart, just 16% have a favorable or mostly favorable view of Musk, 42% have an unfavorable view. Those who believe climate change is serious, 14% mostly favorable view of Musk, 44% unfavorable. Those who believe climate change is overhyped, 38% a mostly favorable view of Musk, 13% mostly unfavorable. Democrats, just 10% having a mostly favorable view of Musk, 46% unfavorable. Yet Republicans, 35% with a mostly favorable view of Musk versus 19% mostly unfavorable. Now there is a very important point to this, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get to that in a moment. All of which leaves us with the big question. Is Elon Musk version 2.0 a growing nightmare for Tesla's brand managers who might now be hoping the Tesla boss hops on the next SpaceX mission to Mars and stays there? Or does Elon 2.0 offer the priceless chance to create a Nixon to China moment and start opening minds among Republican EV skeptics? What a final twist in the story 
that would be. And spoiler alert, that's exactly the fuck what is happening. Now, this is not some genius 420 IQ strategy by Musk. It is a consequence of the guy having a spine and a pair of balls, unlike just about everyone else in his position leading companies with high net worths, especially in the United States, being willing to speak his mind and stand up on issues that are important to him. The result of this is many people who historically have voted Republican, who identify as Republican. Again, why, what, how dumb can you be? To Repu- Think for yourself, but that's besides the point. Many people go, you know what? This motherfucker got some balls. This motherfucker just took the arrows and spent $44 billion so I can actually share my opinions finally for once on a social media platform instead of being censored and suppressed. This motherfucker, the balls. He just pointed out that mutilating and sterilizing children who aren't old enough to vote, buy alcohol, basically do anything, even get a tattoo, is wrong. This motherfucker's calling out racism. Like actual racism, you know, the kind of racism that people are touting as solving racism right now. This guy's got some balls. I'm a big fan. Elon Musk is becoming a catalyst, a conduit for people who previously thought EVs were joke because their party told them so. They think, you know what? This guy's a sick bro. Let me let me check out them Teslas anyway, even though they're for losers that aren't me. I'm just let me just. Oh shit! Really? I might buy me a Tesla. This is happening right now. Of course, there will be many people who rightly point out that there are a lot of butt hurt Democrats, or maybe I would say Democrats, who are so, so incredibly maniacally focused on having the approval of those around them that since Elon bad, because that's the current thing, they are screaming from the rooftops at Elon bad and claiming whether or not they back it up with their actions is an entirely other matter, claiming that they're not going to buy another Tesla or that they'll sell their Tesla or (laughs) pathetically having a custom bumper sticker made up saying, I bought this before Elon was crazy. Losers. Absolutely pathetic losers. But here's the thing. Tesla's products are so fucking good that even among most Democrats, even those who think Elon bad, they're still buying and still driving Tesla vehicles. It takes an extreme desperation for the approval of others and a very, very small brain to willingly forego the best product on the planet, a Tesla, to drive around a pile of shit, far less safe, with worse performance, everything about it sucking relative to a Tesla, just to show everybody that you too believe that Elon bad. As a result, the extremely, extremely small, insignificant, non-needle moving minority of virtue signaling vapid drones screaming that Elon bad and therefore (laughs) I'm going to buy a Rivian instead, not naming any specific names by the way, that was just a random example, they pale in comparison to the number of people on the other side politically who previously thought electric vehicles were a joke, they're garbage, they're for hippies, there's no such thing as climate change, etc., who are now thinking, huh, Elon's an absolute fucking legend, bro. I respect this guy. Let me check out one of those Teslas. It's happening everywhere, from conservative political commentators to mixed martial artists. So that's a very, very, very long-winded way of saying that for every one butthurt baby crying because Elon bad, on the left, generally far on the left. I personally believe there's well in excess of one person who previously was very dismissive of electric vehicles who, as a result of Elon Musk having a spine and balls and gaining their respect, are now starting to come around to the idea of an electric vehicle. That really is quite a twist in the story. And folks, much as I've continued to point out that as we increasingly move closer towards the 2024 US presidential election, the attacks on Musk will continue to ramp up and become even more absurd and ridiculous. On the other side of that coin, the increasing support for Musk among people who see the unreasonable attacks on the guy and also recognize his values, his willingness to stand up, his desire to help humanity, to uphold free speech, will equally ramp up and increase. That's my prediction. Every time Musk wades into the waters of a controversial but important topic that most people in his position don't have the spine or the balls to even mention, he's gaining more and more respect among very partisan Republican voters who previously would never have considered an electric vehicle. What strange times we find ourselves in. Want more content? Early access? Bunch of perks? Click the links in the pinned comment. AG1 has given me a massive, meaningful boost in energy, allowing me to do a lot more every day, including using my brain more and using my body more. I highly recommend you guys and girls check it out. It's an excellent way to fill in nutritional gaps. It's got 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients, plus prebiotics and probiotics and digestive enzymes and adaptogens to help you deal with stress. Plus, if you click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com smr, you can get yourself a one-year free supply of vitamin D3 and K2. 
But don't take my word for it. Here's what some of you guys and girls have to say. AG1 has changed my life. I was, as you described, treating myself like a circus. Ate like trash. Rarely exercised. Used alcohol as a stress crutch. Cannabis also. AG1 is what gave me the kick in the ass. Got me back to the gym. Motivated me to do more for myself, family, my business, etc. Keep doing what you do. Now, I know there's some skeptics, the same kind of people who think Elon Musk is a fraud reading this going, what do you thought? There's no way that's possible, bro. It must be a placebo effect. Believe it or not, this is a recurring theme. If you give your body everything it needs to feel and perform its best, including having a lot more energy, you'll need ways to use that energy. For me personally, that includes more exercise, moving my body more, more social activity, and more cognitively demanding tasks, including producing a fuck ton of exclusive content over on Twitter and on Patreon, plus my daily YouTube uploads. The proof's in the pudding. On to another testimonial from a viewer of this channel. SMR, you asked me to provide feedback on AG1. Here it is. It has helped with mental acuity, stamina, and intestinal waste management. Uh, can't read between the lines. It certainly helps with regularity and digestion. That's what the digestive enzymes are for. It has also dramatically reduced my cravings for sugar. You guys need to stop eating sugar. It's fucking poison. I'm 50, 5'9", and overweight, aka a fat motherfucker. I think that's a technical term for overweight, isn't it? Is it fat motherfucker or obese? I can't remember. I average 100 hours a week in the West Texas oil fields as a safety supervisor. Jesus Christ, dude. No wonder you're struggling to keep your weight under control. 100 hours a week. Brutal. It has helped me lose weight. It is not an appetite suppressant. It can help fat people suppress cravings and motivation to be healthier is critical for changing your diet. Love you, brother. Again, this is a great point. It's something people really don't seem to grasp. If you have more energy, everything becomes easier. It's like turning on easy mode for life. A few years ago, before I was taking AG1, my health was trash. I was struggling to get through the day, had afternoon fatigue. The last thing I wanted to do was either use my brain or move my body. Didn't have the energy. Now, my biggest struggle every day is figuring out ways to use that energy. I'm exercising way more, doing a lot more with my friends and family. And of course, my work output has increased substantially. And you can fact check me. Check out the average length of my videos I was posting to YouTube three years ago. Need I say more? And one final testimonial. Love this one. Okay, here's the deal for me with this AG1 shit. I'm 41 years old and not the type to eat, drink, smoke, or sleep healthy, so I was skeptical. That being said, here's what I experienced. Day one, meh. Day two, afternoon fatigue was about 45 minutes late. Day three, zero afternoon fatigue. Day four, zero afternoon fatigue plus extra energy. Day five, again, zero afternoon fatigue plus energy, wondering, what the fuck, really? See, this is the thing, right? The results for many people are just almost too good to be true. This, this is the same experience I had. My afternoon fatigue just vanished out of nowhere. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Why am I not tired in the afternoons anymore? Surely, it's not that AG1, is it? Turns out it was. Day six and seven, same thing. Day eight, same thing. Plus, I had the want to get things done around the house that I normally would slack off and not get done. Again, the point, extra energy, you'll need to use it, you'll find ways to use it. Day 9, 10, and 11, and today is day 12. I fucking love it. So however you managed to get me to buy it, I'm so glad you did. Thank you so much, SMR. It really changed me so far. Guys, this shit really works. Just try it. By the way, this is the reason I continue to relentlessly promote AG1. A lot of people get real fucking mad in the comments. Oh my god, Snake Oil Salmon sold out. Oh my god, he's a scammer. This is fraud. But constantly... I'm pretty sure everyone making these comments is also currently short Tesla stock. I'm not particularly concerned about people having a negative perception, those folks suffering from small brain syndrome, still living in my bum's basement syndrome, etc., writing mean comments, claiming AG1's a scam or it doesn't work. I mean, bro, when I get feedback like this, this is what keeps me going. Just try this stuff for a month, and if you don't get these results, get your money back. See, it's a literal no-brainer. It's an IQ test at this point in time. Testimonial after testimonial after testimonial like this. Get your money back if it doesn't work. Just try it for a month, and if it doesn't work... Get your money back. Today's the day. It's finally time. Be like this guy who was a massive skeptic, but finally, after a thousand promotions in a row, caved in, tried AG1, and has results like this. Head to drinkag1.com slash SMR, or click the link at the pinned comment, and please, let me know how you're feeling in a few weeks' time. And now, if you'll excuse me, time to put my extra energy to good use. I'll be recording some more exclusive content for Patreon and my Twitter subscribers. So click the link at the pinned comment, see you over on Twitter and or Patreon, and don't forget to grab your AG1. Love ya.